Hello, my name is Kat and I'll be your teacher for your weekly belly dance tips. Now normally you'd find me in the classroom at Tacoma Dance Studios, but I thought it would be a good idea to provide little tidbits of information. That way you have something that you can take home and try on your own time. We will be going over 52 different belly dance movements, everything from traveling steps to shimmies to undulations and everything in between. To sign up for more tips, you can subscribe to us on YouTube, you can follow us on Instagram, check us out on our website at TacomaBellyDance.com, or interact with us on Facebook. Today, we're going to talk about posture in belly dance, or what we call Rock's Sharky. Belly dance posture does have some unique things to it that are different from other dance styles, so this is something that is incredibly important to our dance. What I like to do is start from the feet and move on up to the head. We're going to start with our feet. I know you can't see them very well. Going back here, maybe. <laughs> Starting with our feet. We're gonna keep our feet nice and together. Under the shoulders, we're going to stand extremely petite. Mm -hmm. With our feet, we're going to keep the weight on the balls of our feet. We're going to use what I like to call sticky heels. So sticky heels means that my heels are able to move away from the floor easily and gently. But that being said, they are not away from the floor. I am not in releve. My knees are bent and supple. This does not mean a squat. In this case, this means, your straight leg, just a slight bend in the knee. This is incredibly important, specifically when we do movements that require some sort of twisting or anything that might damage your knees, you are really gonna wanna keep that bounciness. So once again, let's bring those toes together under your shoulders, your weight forward on the balls of your feet. Remember, sticky heels, keeping those knees bent. Here's a great time to check in with yourself. Check to make sure you're not favoring one side of your body. Most people are right-handed, including myself, and I've noticed, especially since I hold my bag on my right side, I do tend to lean to the right. This is a great time to check in with yourself. Now let's move up a little bit to our hips. We're going to do something called a tuck or a pelvic tilt. Now this sometimes doesn't work for everybody, okay? If you have lower back issues like myself, this is going to be your saving grace to keep your back nice and healthy for the rest of your belly dance career. Taking our pelvis, what you're going to do is you're going to engage that lower core, tilting that pelvis just a little bit farther forward. What this is going to do is create a straighter line and really keep that lower core engaged so that you don't have the booty pop. <laughs> we don't want any booty pop. That really does strain that low back. So keep that nice and tucked. It doesn't have to be far, just activated. Really feel that in your lower core. So we're standing nice and tall, feet together. Weight for in the balls of our feet. We have our sticky heels. Our knees are nice and supple. Our pelvis is tucked forward, engaging that lower core. With our upper half, I want you to imagine that you're standing nice and tall and lifted, but I want you to keep those shoulders relaxed, okay? Don't let the shoulders fall too far up into your ears. We want to keep them nice and low. So standing up nice and tall, feeling that uh, upper core elongate, yeah? And now I want you to imagine where your collarbone is and your chin, and I want you to keep about a grapefruit size space between your collarbone and your chin. I don't want you to lose that grapefruit, and honestly, who really likes grapefruit juice anyway? So let's make sure we're keeping that chin at an even angle, not tucked too far in or pulled too far up. As for our arms, again, keeping our shoulders nice and soft and supple, we're going to raise our arms at the elbows. So imagine, of course, everybody knows the robot, right? Raising at the elbows, what we're going to do is keep our elbows pointed back. What this does is helps, <laughs> we all have it, everybody knows the bat wings, no matter how thin you are, you have a little bit of back, bat wing. We're going to keep those elbows pointed back and keep our arms out. You're never going to want those hands to be over your shoulders, okay? We don't want to take off in flight. We want nice, elongated, but relaxed. So there you go.